Monday, Monday. Good morning, everybody. Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates. It is Monday, October the 26th, 2020. I have an eye appointment in a couple of hours, so we're going to move through this stuff right here. I've got lots of questions. I'm realizing that I haven't done a Q&A, uh, a proper one, in quite some time, so I'm going to make every effort to get one of those to you guys because there's just tons of questions some of which really I need to dedicate an entire video to. So I think that's what we're going to do at some point this week. So be on the lookout for that one. Um, yeah, eye exam, kind of like Mrs. Magoo without my glasses. I've worn glasses since I was a little girl. Uh, Lasix and laser surgery has never been a financially doable option for me. So I've just, I've worn glasses. But um, I, I always make the effort to and I don't have a vision plan I have medical and dental just it doesn't come with vision uh, because I'm self-employed and it's just again finances and this year aside from all of that um, looking forward to a week with lots and lots of new videos coming at you guys I have fulfilled my obligations from last week I promised that I would get some good um, spray session so I think I got a couple in there for you gave you some tips and tricks gave you an update this week is gonna be just as good if not better there's some cool stuff right below my hand here so I want to get into all that I've got several pieces this morning and then I need to hustle over to the eye doctor which is 9 30 this morning I always do real early morning tapes when I'm doing updates but yeah, I promise you. So there's like questions. Actually, one question I can pull off, I can answer real quick. Somebody said, what size Rapala is this? Because it looked so much bigger as compared to a baby bull shed. Well, that's because it is. Um, it is a whole lot bigger than a baby bull shed. This is the Super Shad Wrap, and it's a 14, which uh, it's roughly five and a half inches on this guy, which means it's a 14 for 140 millimeters because everybody except for the United States is pretty much on metrics and we're still on inches and stuff. Um, but that's okay. I, it, I can convert for you guys. That's part of what you pay me to do here on YouTube is convert from inches over to metrics. Um, this is a bumblebee. You guys ask, this is a seven piece order that's going out for Musky Niche. You guys have, I kind of teased this. This was the second part of the uh, working on stencils and shading and all that kind of good stuff. Yes, there's some bullshit stuff in here as well. I'm getting ready to get inundated with about 150 more baits from that because we, we've got the January shows coming up. Um, and it's going to be like back to back to back to back. And then the classic in March, which I am attending, which is going to be super cool. Um, that's going to be, again, that's a whole, we got a whole season of stuff to get through. Um, really excited about some stuff coming down the pipe for you guys. And uh, definitely going to take you along on the journey. I hope you enjoyed the gathering recap from the, from the Bullshad booth. I had a lot of fun with those guys. It was an honor to meet everybody. Wayne Campbell and Chad and, of course, Mike. I hadn't met him before. So you guys are top-notch. Tons of prizes given away. Tons of stuff. Raffles. I mean, just... It really, literally is, according to Buca, the eye cast of swim baits. And it is. Um, you get to see all the new products. You get to see stuff like Piz and uh, Toxic and just so many soft baits, soft swim baits. So I have quickly become a junkie, and I'm hooked, and I love it. So... Back to these for Muskie. This is a bumblebee. He asked for a bumblebee pattern and what you ask for, your wish is my command as long as I can make that happen. So there's your bumblebee. Um, this is the finished product from, and yeah, just I've been cleaning these off as I go. Uh, this one, just you can see this one's been cleaned. It's dressed and ready. And this one just came off the clear coat rack. These get two coats. I get two coats. And I get a lot of questions about those as well. How many coats I put on. Uh, minimal these days, I'm doing two coats. Sometimes I'll do three if it's um, if it's a, at a request. The stuff that I use, KBS, is not inexpensive. Um, it's a thin layer, but it is rock solid once it's cured. So this is that nighttime cool 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 stealth shad 
The Grey Ghost. I am currently waiting on an order of Pelon Wonderweb, which is what I use to make the Hot Tuna and the Grey Ghost and a few other classic patterns that you guys are used to seeing me make. Um, so in the meantime, you got some really cool tricked out Grey Ghost in just a different option with that big red shad dot in the middle and the center, right behind that gill plate. And these are all hand done eyes. Uh, the Rapalas, the larger ones, it's basically a, a guy in a booth doing the same thing that I do. You just have to make them look good. These are all hand painted eyes. And there's not a whole, except for this one. I, I did put 3Ds with uh, super glue on the bumblebee because I wanted that to protrude and look like a bumblebee's eye. The green sunfish. A bluegill. It's chilly out here in Arkansas this morning, folks. Creek chub. Love my creek chubs. Russ Allen, insane custom stencils. Say that five times fast. With me. Come on, it's Monday. You guys can do it. You can do it. And the hog sucker. Put the gill flares in there, a little bit of red underneath, so you get that 3D look. Same on the other side. The gill flare. Traditional hog sucker. So those are his seven heading out to you probably tomorrow morning. Um, I got to dress these up and unfortunately this morning I'm interrupted by an appointment, but those were a ton of fun to create a little tricky because when you give me one offs, it's not like I can do a run of baits. So everything is ground up build and I can't repeat colors. So it takes a little bit longer. So these are up and coming from Bullshad. If you were at the gathering, you saw them. They now have the hair grooves in them. And I've got, uh, so the eyes that originally, let's see if I have them. I think I'm sure I do. So these are the eyes that come with the rat. And they are well placed in there with super glue and then just for this particular bait and you know what folks I've had offers on this already I'm not selling it because I don't own a rat so I took the time to actually buy one and build for myself um, and I, I haven't had a bull shad rat before so this one I want to keep and throw for me because I really am uh, I'm digging this and it's not super super heavy I don't have the proper rod yet for the real heavy stuff but I can go up to two ounces and this is under two and the smaller bull sheds like this one right here this uh, this is a five inch floating this is also the glow in the dark you guys have been seeing it's on Instagram this morning if you guys hit up my Instagram page at Jekyll 424 the blackout version of what this looks like after it's been charged by sunlight, sunlight does better than incandescent light. I've got um, just basic bulbs and stuff in here, so it doesn't do quite as well as if I sit it out in the sun for like 30 or 40 minutes. But um, just testing how long it stays luminescent and uh, glowing at night right now. But I'm keeping that one for me as well. Couple of bullshads to show you guys. Nice breeding version. And we've got a secret shad. I was watching Cornell from YouTube Fishing Vids the other day, and he was just smacking the snot out of him on a jackal secret shad pattern. And it's basically a little bit of blue, some purple, 
and then it's got a bright yellow belly on his but it doesn't really replicate a shad as well but I might goof around with a yellow belly on one of these so right now I'm testing developing a couple of different patterns seeing what's gonna work really really well for uh, reproduction and which is your favorite and then this one is going out to my buddy CJ. Happy birthday, Siege. He's my local ride or die fishing bud. You've seen him on a bunch of my fishing videos. And unfortunately, life has gotten in the way for both of us, and we, ha we just haven't been able to fish. We're going to try and fish one day this week. I'm actually going to sneak out of the shop because I haven't done that. Even when, like I said, when I was on the road, I maybe fished for a couple of hours so unfortunately it wasn't what I was hoping I would be able to do it was just busy it was pretty much a work trip this last time out and then this is the Arizona craw on these beautiful dinger replicas and man these things swim like fire these things are amazing some of my absolute hands down favorite 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 for replicas because these things are just monsters go check out Brian at Dinger he's got them and the longer build version which is a medium diver down to about eight feet so this is my Arizona craw version it's a uh, actually it's, it's the second one that I've done the first one the guy got his mailbox robbed something happened and he did not get his bait that is what I've got for you guys this morning. I hope you have a fantastic week. I hope you get out on the water a little bit. If you're on the Gulf Coast, watch out for that. What is it, Zeta now? They're on, uh, yeah, they're, they're on the Greek alphabet because they have not been able to, uh, <laughs> the storms have been pretty, pretty frequent. So there is a tropical storm coming up through the Caribbean and it should be impacting the Gulf later midweek. So batten down the hatches, Louisiana and uh, the southeast Gulf Coast, Florida. Be careful. I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.